Hello and welcome Pixels, 25 Games is here and today I want to update my uh, previous video where I'm doing a retopology of a uh, Pro Builder Mesh which I exported from Unity to Blender. I updated my Blender version to 2.81. So this YouTube tutorial is inspired by JM, this is a YouTube creator uh, which created a Blender tutorial as well. I will place the link for his channel and, the, and his video tutorial in the information below. So I tested out this uh, new function to creating a retopology. Um, this function is pretty handy, but it's not perfect. So maybe I don't find everything which I need. I will just show you this uh, by this island here, which is as well a very tiny and rough um, island for my whole level. And let's start to do this. Um, basically, um, to creating a retopology, um, I'm creating this little plane here, which is um, pretty rough and basic right now. We can adjust the, the origin later, so it's not very important right now. So I want to extrude the edges to form this little island here and making a better retopology than this here. So this uh, mesh geometry is pretty rough, pretty bad. And I want to add some more details because if I want to add an edge loop or extrude any faces, it's pretty hard to to do anything. So we want to place this plane here, and we want that this plane will be snapped on this surface. So I am activating the the snap tool, and I go from vertex to face. It can happen that this uh, this little plane or this face will disappear inside of the other face. So you can go here to object properties and the viewport display and enable in front. So it will be always in front of the other object. Okay, and to give it a better visibility so we can different uh, which object is wh which one, so I give it as well a different color, I give it now the screen tone here, and everything is fine. So, you will need as well the toolbar, so press T to call up the toolbar, and switch to edit mode with the tabulator bar. And now we see here in edit mode the poly build tool. This is the function which we are working with now. If we click at it, then we see immediately this blue colored edges or vertices. If I click now, I will immediately create a new face, which is coming out or extruded from the selected edge or vertex. We can as well very easily just select this vertex and move it wherever we wanna. And do a very, uh, very quick job without switching between vertex or edge selection mode. So if we switch back here, uh, we just here in in vertex selection mode and yeah we can move it this is true but we need to press G to move it or I would sw oh, switch with 2 to edge selection mode and then we can move it but this is way more easy and we just need to select the vertices or extrude the edges so I continue here now by just clicking and creating very I just do a left click and create always a new a new face and can um, and can add very easily more geometry. It only depends which corner is selected and just make and click if it is a right click or left click it depends on your settings but this is the only button I am pressing. So if we now created this here and and want to continue here. So this is a problem because if we do this, 
So this is not a very fast method to merge vertices. So we need to select them again. And, and I can select two vertices here because if I press shift, I'm removing vertices. So you have to go to this vertex and press control and then recreating a face of uh, out of this edge here. So just press control and left click. So you don't have to select the vertex itself. You just have to go near this vertex and press control. And you see there's this blue selection, which is creating the new face and it will depend where you are close to with your cursor. So just, if I don't press control, then this will not happen. So press control and create very easily new faces. If I'm not near the, this vertex here, then I'm just creating a rectangle out of this vertex here. If you want to remove a, a, a vertex or anything, just press shift to remove it and you will get a rectangle there. Maybe you will need this as well and then you can create here again a new face. In this mode you can as well add geometry by just press Control R to add an edge loop. So then you will get a new edge loop and you can modify this as well very easily here. Um, the only thing I, I'm not very happy with this tool is to merge vertices or to close some some elements. So I prepared here this and I want to basically just merge those two vertices to one. Um, in this mode I can select them with shift because then I will remove the vertex and I can't snap it directly on this because we are in face snapping mode. Yeah, you can probably just switch here to vertex selection mode and then move the vertex to the next one and it and then the vertices will snap to each other and then they are merged. So this is one option to just switch the, the snap mode. Um, or you go back to your basic selection and select the edges and just press F for fill and then this will um, create a new face as well. But let's remove this and switch back to Boli build uh, tool again. And I will show you that you can press K here as well for the knife tool and do this here as well. So we can add further geometry with edge loops. We can use the knife tool to cut faces or we just um, remove vertices um, with shift and your mouse button. Basically, this is what I found out. So we have to switch mode for filling or combining to edges or to create and bridge. Um, and this is a little bit unhandy in my opinion, but the tool is basically very nice for making a retopology and um, creating very fast and easily this structure here. I created this surface here uh, yesterday and I just was getting into this tool because you need to get some time um, to understand the workflow um, and find out the, the shortcuts and everything. Um, but basically I like it and I will show you in the rest of this video how I did this and how to create this side island here which is for the hardware in the Unity version later. So you see here this is the, the, blocky, the blocked island and I'm doing the retopology now to get a nice island again. So thank you very much for watching and have fun with the rest of the video. Cheers.